Hello everyone, this is Catalina from DaydreamingToReality.com and today I'm going to teach you everything, listen to me, everything you need to know about the Cricut mats. I have them all up here and I'm going to be showing you how to place your materials, how to remove them from the mat and also I will be showing you what materials you should use with each mat because it's very important in order for you to have a good experience with your Cricut. So with that said, let's just go get started. First, let's start with some basics. There are four mats. There is the blue mat, and it's also called the light grip mat, and it's for very light and thin materials. We also have the standard grip mat, or the green one, this is the most common one and that you'll be using most of the times and is for medium materials. We also have the strong grip mat, and this mat is for very thick materials. And we have the pink mat, and this pink mat is to be used only with fabric and with the, with the rotary blade or the bonded fabric blade, but I will show you more when we cover this mat. Not only there are four colors of mats, but there's also two different sizes. There is the 12 by 12 inches mat, and I also have a 12 by 24 inches mat. It's ideal for really big projects, and you can find this size for all of the different types of materials or colors that I just mentioned. Okay, now let's just see what each mat can do gonna start with the light grip mat this mat is for very thin materials so think about normal paper copy or print paper light cardstock light cardstock or vinyl thin vinyl because when you're working with iron on vinyl it's a little bit thicker and I recommend other mat for that but let's just see how to place a material first remove from the mat the cover this cover is very important to always keep around. Don't get rid of it and while you're using your mat, put it in a place that doesn't have dust or hair or any other things that can contaminate it. So what I wanna show you here is this is very light and thin material. So the right way for you to place the mat, the, the, your material is just, you know, you lay it here like this and then you want to secure it you can secure it with your hands or with a scraper it's very scrape it's very important for you to secure it and have it stick well to your to the mat any material you're working with but my favorite way to secure a material to a cricket mat is using the brayer let me show it to you this little guy here is amazing. I love it so much. I, I just can't explain it, how much I like it. So it just saves a lot of, it just saves a lot of time. So you just stick it well to the mat and there you have it. Your material is right there. When your Cricut is done cutting your project, there is a specific way that Cricut recommends to remove your material from the mat. The right way to remove the material is by turning the mat and then bending it and then work kind of like with gravity and then remove the material like this. And this is going to prevent your mat your your material from bending. because I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't remove the materials like this. Oh, the car got stuck here. Now, look at here, it bended a little bit because this mat is brand new. I'm gonna teach you a trick of what to do when your mat is brand new. But if you were to remove the material uh, from the top, this is what would happen. Let me just secure it real quick. And let me show you what would happen if you remove it like this. If you remove it like this, 
even if your paper doesn't tear apart, do you see how the material is bending? You don't want that, right? We don't. We would hate for this to happen. <laughs> so remove the materials by bending the mat, like I just showed you. If your mat is, um, when you first buy your mat, your mat is gonna be very sticky. So to kind of remove the stickiness of the mat, you can use a little piece of a cloth or even your t-shirt, and then you can just prime it like this. You can do this with every single mat. I would avoid it with the fabric mat because that one is just the perfect strength and grip for fabric. So just do it like this with the with every mat if you want to and if you're working with a very thin material in the first place. Now let me cover this and let me show you uh, what kind of materials are perfect for this light grip mat. You can use very thin cardstock and you can also use vinyl. It's a little bit wrinkly my vinyl because my son got into it before I had a chance. So, <laughs> but thin vinyl can be used with the light grip mat and also just the regular copy paper that I just showed you. So just thin materials. Now let's move to the standard grip mat. The standard grip mat or green mat is perfect for medium materials. Think about you know, regular car stock like this. It's perfect. Also, glitter iron on would work great for this mat. And papers like corrugated, corrugated paper. It has like little, let me show you here. I don't know if you can see well. There is a little glare. This mat is perfect for these materials. Again, you place it with the brayer and then you should remove it by bending the mat. Very important to bend the mat. Don't forget to do that. Okay, we just covered the green mat. Now let's cover the purple mat. The purple mat is my favorite mat and the one that I worked the most with because I love working with glitter cardstock. Let me just, let me show you the materials you can use with this mat. I have metallic poster board, I have glitter cardstock, and I also have some matte board. Matte board is very thick. Let me show it to you. I don't know if you can see. Do you see how thick that is? These thick materials can only be cut with the knife blade and the Cricut Maker. So if you are a Cricut Explorer, look for thinner materials. And when you, you really need a strong grip mat when you're working with this sort of materials. And something that you also need to do is to use tape and secure your material to the mat as well. So, but let me show you about why I like glitter uh, to use to use glitter cardstock with my strong grip mat. Usually the projects that you do with glitter are a little bit intricate. And when you try to remove the material when it's you know normally like this. It, it, it really sticks a lot and sometimes I've broken my, my materials. So what I like to do is to place my material like this and secure it with a brayer. And I'm gonna show you how it gets really nice and secured, but I really like the way it removes from the mat. To do this, you really need a new purple mat. Don't use an old one because your material will move 
while it's being caught. But if you have a brand new mat, this is what it do. It, look, it sticks extremely well to the mat, but when you're gonna remove it, it just, it's like butter. It's just so easy, look at that. It, came, it comes right out, it's amazing. I really like it. Plus, if you're working with coated, coated materials like glitter cardstock, and you're gonna score, you always have to score with the coated material side down. I have this information in a couple of articles and I will link them in the description down below so you can learn all of the techniques. Now let me cover this mat and let's touch on the last mat, the fabric grip mat. The fabric grip mat is the most delicate mat and you want to treat it with a lot of care and a lot of love I guess because it's just made with very the, the grip of this mat is very different to the other mats you completely want to avoid touching it with your fingertips or any oils or anything like that is seriously very delicate. I have this little piece of cloth here and I'm gonna show you how to place the material on top of it. So you also wanna use the brayer pretty much for this. So try to avoid placing a placing your hands on it and still secure it with the brayer. The brayer is extremely good for this. Perfect. Now, when you're gonna remove something from the fabric grip mat, unlike other mats that you bend, you, I, I really recommend you to get these little tools. They come together actually, let me show them to you. This will help you to get to remove the fabric from the mat and like this. So you just lift it up like that. And since it's fabric, you really don't have problem with it. You know, it's just, it comes really easy. Again, try to avoid touching it and all of that, just to extend the life of the mat. Something to also keep in mind is that this mat can only be used with two different blades. With the ro it's so hard for me to pronounce this word. The rotary, rotary blade. Okay, you excuse me about that. I've been practicing, let me show it to you. This one is for the Cricut Maker only. Isn't it pretty? So the blade, we just cut whatever material you have in here, right? Any type of fabric, pretty much, it, you can cut with the Cricut Maker. And I also, and you can also use the bonded fabric blade. It's the pink one. Here is the blade. I don't know if you can see very well. My camera is acting up right now. And there you have it. Now that you have an idea of what to use each mat for and how to place your materials on top of it and how to remove them, I'm going to show you when it's time for you to get rid of one mat. I have this strong grip mat, as I told you, it's the one that I use the most and it's ready for the trash. I've been putting this off because I wanted to show you how dirty and terrible it is. You see that? nothing sticks to this anymore and by nothing I mean thick materials something that you can also do let's say your purple mat is is not holding strong materials I'm sure it can hold medium or light materials so as your mats lose the strength for one material maybe you can downgrade them to use with with other type of materials. For instance, let's see how this vinyl performs on the strong grip mat. Let's place it here. And let's secure it with a brayer. I'm 
Now, as you can see, it's extremely well adhered, like a regular blue or green mat. What you can do now is that when you remove it, you see how easy it comes. If I try to do this on a new purple mat, this vinyl is not coming out that easy. So a great tip that I can give you is that if your mat has lost its strength, you can use it with other thinner materials and it will work for a long time. Like I just showed you, this came out very well. If I try to use my brand new mat, purple mat, I will have a really hard time trying to remove this material from here. Isn't that amazing? Those are really great tips, but I just, I live in a very tiny apartment, so this mat is going to the trash. I know it can sound a little bit confusing, all of these colors and all of the mats and the strengths and what to use, but don't worry about it. Seriously, the best way to learn the mats is by practicing and making projects. Once you've had, you've made a couple projects, five or 10, you'll know what mat to use because our brains work like that. When we use them for a particular hobby or project, it comes to sense with us. Cricut Design Space won't tell you what mat to use, but it will tell you what blade you need. So usually, if you're gonna be using a fine point blade, the gold one or the silver one, you will be using a standard grip mat or a light grip mat and also a purple mat. Yes, with this blade, you pretty much are going to be using all mats except for the pink mat that I just explained. However, if your project calls for the knife blade or the deep cut blade, let me show them to you, these two blades, the black one and the knife blade. This one is only for the Cricut Maker, by the way. Then you know you need to use a purple mat. That is pretty much a guarantee. And for these two blades, the, ro the rotary and the pink one, the bonded fabric blade, you are gonna be using the pink mat. Although something that you, can also use with this blade is the standard grip mat or even a very new light grip mat because this blade only works with bonded fabrics. I'm gonna be creating a video about this soon but this bonded fabrics is like it's a backing material kind of like vinyl that has a backing is the vinyl and the backing. The bonded fabric needs you need to attach the fabric to a, a it's called hidden bond and this material is you know you can stick it to either this mat or the other one or also the, the fabric mat so there you have it these are pretty much all the things that you need to that you need to know before you get started just have fun enjoy the process I cannot tell you how confused I was when I first started with my cricket. I just couldn't understand why do I need to learn so many things. And that's why I want to teach you how to get around everything. Make sure that you check the article that I'm going to link down in the description box. So you understand better about the maths and all the things that you need to know. And that's it. Let's wrap this video up. If you learned a lot about the Cricut mats today and you enjoyed watching this video, please go hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get informed every time I upload a new video to this YouTube channel. It really helps me and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!